Hello, welcome back. This is lecture 5 of our lecture series on basics of computer networking. If you haven't watched lecture 4, please check the link in the description box below. In this video, we will discuss about reliable networks. Reliability of a network can be defined as ensuring that each packet or segment that a source sends will arrive to the destination. Reliability can be achieved by designing a network architecture that considers the following. 1. Fault tolerance. 2. Scalability. 3. Quality of service. And 4. Security. In the next slides, we're going to discuss each of them in detail. Fault tolerance. It is built to allow quick recovery when a failure occurs. Fault tolerance networks depend on multiple routes between the source and destination of a message. If one path fails, the messages are instantly sent over a different link. Having multiple paths to a destination is known as redundancy. Example. If PC2 wants to send a message to PC1, it can use different routes. The first one is it can use from here to here. It can also use this one. It can also use this, the third one. It means that if one fails, there are other options to deliver the packet or the message from PC2 to PC1. And we call this type of networks a fault-tolerant networks. Next, we will discuss about scalability. As we discussed in lecture 1.2, under the advantages of client-server model, a scalable network expands quickly to support new users and applications without degrading the performance of services that are being accessed by the existing users. Example, if you wanted to extend the network here, you just need to add a switch and the required number of users. So, this is the property of a scalable network. Next, we will discuss about quality of service. Quality of service becomes a primary mechanism for managing congestion and ensuring reliable delivery of content to all users. Remember, congestion is one of the challenges in client-server model. The focus of quality of service is to prioritize time-sensitive traffic. Here, the type of traffic is important, not the content. Example, if you are using the IP phone and somebody else wants you to check only a website and if there is a congestion, the network definitely prioritize the traffic from the IP phone based on the quality of service. As we said, quality of service focuses on the time-sensitive data or traffic. Next, we will discuss about security. Network infrastructure, services, and the data stored on the network-attached devices are crucial personal and business assets. Network administrator must address two types of network security concern. The first one is network infrastructure security and information security. Securing the network infrastructure include physically securing devices that provide network connectivity and prevent unauthorized access to the management software that resides on the example. Here, router 1, router 2, and other devices should be physically protected, not only physically protected, but logically protected. If an administrator wants to 
configure the devices he or she has to use a certain credential, like username and password. Network administrators must also protect the information contained within the packets being transmitted over the network and the information stored on the attached devices, which means information on transit and information at rest. In order to achieve the goals of network security, there are three primary requirements, and we call this the CIA triads of cybersecurity. The first one is confidentiality. Data confidentiality means that only the intended and authorized recipients can access and read the data. This can be achieved through encryption and decryption, or cryptography in general. The second one is integrity. Data integrity assures users that the information has not been altered during the transmission from origin to destination. Integrity will be achieved using hash algorithm. The third one is availability. Data availability assures users of timely and reliable access to data services for only authorized users. Availability will be achieved using redundancy. If you have any question, please use the comment section below. In the next lecture, we will discuss about network trends. Thank you and see you there.